Hello, it's Bud. One of the members wants to emulate a logo. Uh, this can be a touchy thing in that a lot of logos are copyrighted. Um, but if you have the permissions uh, or know what you're doing legally, then uh, we can discuss it may not use all of it, we may just use part of it, but uh, we're going to talk about it here and see what we can come up with. In this case, what the user is wanting to do is, is use the University of Texas Medical Branch logo. I'm going to presume that maybe we don't need the words here at the bottom. If we do, they can be added. Uh, this is a um, a registered uh, logo so you need to make sure that you have the proper permissions to do what you want to do um, but we're going to go to um, Carfright Designer and see what we can come up with. Okay so we're in Designer I'm going to open up a board it's uh, 11 and a half wide 17 long it's a material and we're just going to talk about here. I'm going to go to File and I'm going to Import Image because I've already put this into uh, picture format and I'm going to come down and get that particular logo and as you can see I've already done away with the University of Texas Medical uh, Bureau underneath it. Um, I'm going to say next because I'm not going to clean it up. It's it's a little dirty. So it would not be ideal just to take and use. But I'm going to take it just as it is. And I'm going to finish and I'm going to call it test. And I'm going to bring it into my patterns. I'm going to open up patterns. And I'm going to get it. Here it is. I'm going to bring it in. I'm going to open it up. So I can see what I've got. And I'm going to bring it down here where I can do something with it. Now, this is not rocket science. But it's just playing. And seeing what we want to do. Now, if I come up and go with line, uh, connected lines, I can start here at the top of this star, come down to here, come across, come to here, just hand drawing this thing. Double click up there and I've got a completed star. Now I'm going to choose a 60 degree bit. Uh, this is going to be just an, an outline type thing. Uh, and I'm going to say okay I don't want to go too deep I'm going to go 0 0.125. And I have that. Okay. Um, let's put the carving list on here so we see what we got. Um, okay. Now I'm going to go back to connected lines. And I'm going to start here. At the beginning of the star. Come over here. Down to here. This is actually a flag. It's about what it is. And that's all I want. So while that's nice bright red, I'm going to double click on it. And that's done. And again, I'm going to assign a 60 degree bit. And I'm going to make it 0 0.125. And I have both of those things done. Okay, so if I hold down control and highlight those two things, 
I'm just going to come up here to where I get my four pointed arrow. Where is it going to be? Nope, didn't want that. So I'll come up here, edit, and undo that. Now I just come over here. I want, there's where I want. It. Okay. So I'm just going to move this up here so we can see what we got. And click outside. Okay. It's a little high on this corner. I'll bring that down a little bit. I can actually make this a 90 degree angle here. And make this a 90 degree angle. That's not bad. Didn't want that. Edit. Undo. Now I just want to draw this thing down a little bit here. Well, fooey. Undo. Let's see if I come over on this side and do it. I want to. I want to get my finger so I can draw it down here. Okay, that's not bad. I'm gonna bring this over just a little bit. I'm gonna bring a little more. A little touchy here. Okay. So there's that part of the logo. Looks just a little bit cattywampus, but uh, for what we're doing right now, so here's part of the problem. Bring this over here where I can do something with it. I'm trying to get too smart here. That's what I am. When you make it bigger, it's easier to just a little bit. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so now I've got it back to what I had. Alright, so now that I've got that done, let's go to text and click in here. And I want to find something that looks similar. And I'll be right back. Okay, let's try this. It's uh, Engraver's MT. Uh, number one, I want some spacing in between. I'm going to put that at about a 10 or a 12 space in between and I'm just going to type U G M B whoops get here U G M B <coughs> then we'll click OK and I'm gonna open that thing up It's about the same size. <coughs> okay, what have I got here? I've got it on raster. I'm going to put it on center line. Hopefully you have center line. Uh, you could use raised as well, but 
I prefer center line because of the way it cuts. Uh, it's a little thin on that, so we need to find something different as far as what we use. The darker they are, the more bold it's going to be, the deeper it's going to go. Here's a high tower. Let's see what that does. Click outside. It's still thinner than I want. So let me look for another one. I'll be right back. Okay, here's one called Niagara Solid. That doesn't look too bad. Uh, there may be others. Okay. This is Occidental. And let's bring it out a little bit bigger. Basically, it's the pattern we're trying to get. Okay, so I'm going to highlight this and this. Move it a little bit this way for right now. That's not bad. I mean, it's just a choice of what we want to do, which one we want to use. Now, if I highlight all of these, well, number one, I can get rid of tests. I know what I'm doing. So I don't need that anymore. Um, so if I highlight each one of these and come up here to layout and align and also align the tops or the bottoms. We'll do the tops. And now they're aligned. Now I can place that any place I want on the board by again highlighting all three of them and then drag it down or do a center or whatever <coughs> in that respect. Now I can make that any size I want uh, if I um, let's see if I can make this smaller so we can see what we got here. Um, Again, if I highlight everything, I can come out here to the yellow point on the end, and I can bring that thing down to whatever size I want. Put it over here a little bit. Whoop. Come back and highlight them again. Over here. And I can make that whatever size I want. Um, now remember my board is 11 and a half from top to bottom. <coughs> so you get a little bit of an idea from that standpoint. Uh, if I come out here to um, view grid lines, my grid lines are probably half inch. Let's see. Layout, snap. Yeah, my grid lines are half inch. So if I bring this out so we can see, here's the bottom. Uh, I'm going about an inch and a quarter high. And if we count them, here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So it's eight inches long. Uh, and it just remains to be seen how small I can go uh, and still have it carved the way I want. 
nothing on here is bold. It's all um, using the 60 degree bit. Um, on the text, I won't have any choice. It's going to go as deep as it wants to go. But the 60 will be thinner than the 90 uh, from that standpoint. And that is how I can emulate a logo. I hope that helps.